welcome back. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to apply filters to our audio sources and get a bit of compression and noise reduction going, particularly on the microphone. We're also going to have a look at a wonderful feature of OBS, which is called audio sidechain ducking. And that'll level down the audio of an input source when you speak through the microphone so that the audio is dimmed or reduced automatically. Let's take a look at that. Filters are applied to any audio source, either by right-clicking on the source and choosing Filter, or if the audio source is not in your sources window, you can head over to the audio mixer and then click the little cog icon and apply filters from here. I'm going to do that because it is the microphone that I'm currently speaking into that is in question. I'll enter the filters menu and it comes up with an empty list. It's kind of what we want because we haven't applied any filters yet. That's good. Let's click the little plus icon down here and first start with a compressor. This is not mandatory. This is absolutely personal preference, but I find that any voice through any microphone sounds better if it's slightly compressed. Don't go overboard with that. We're going to stick with the defaults here. Add the compressor filter and you'll be presented with the following options. You can literally leave all the defaults as they are because they do sound quite nice. You can play around with them and do a test recording and then play yourself back and see what you think of the results. While reading out what the values are, I find the defaults are fine, except for perhaps audio gain. If you have a fairly quiet microphone, you may want to increase that here so that you make up the levels. In general, really, you should look at your audio levels not going too far into the red, but you also shouldn't peak at about minus 30 or minus 25. You really want to be somewhere in the yellow when you're talking and occasionally go up into the red. Like I'm currently a little bit quiet. I could probably go up to about here. Zero dB is kind of the highest that you can get. You don't want to go any higher than that. But if I were to increase my output here a little bit, then you could see what happens here. Let's go back to filters. And let me increase my output gain by about, let's say, 6 or something like 6 dB, just so that you can see what happens. See, now I'm speaking at the same level, but it's going into the red occasionally more. You may prefer that to go a little bit higher and then just drop this slider down so that you have a better level control there, but it is totally personal preference. What this has done now is that it shifts the quieter parts of when I'm speaking slightly further up so I'm, you can understand me better, especially on small, tinny, cheap or plastic speakers. I, my voice sounds a little bit more pleasing that way. I'm going to go and just uh, crank this down to maybe, maybe about minus three. So this is the kind of audio level that is correct, perhaps even a little bit lower than that. That's the kind of, this is a good audio level here without any distortions here. If you constantly go into the very right part of the red here, that is a clear indication that you should really knock it down a little bit. Any microphone in any environment will generate some noise and it is up to us to kind of make that as pleasing for the viewer as possible or for the listener as possible. Thankfully, OBS has another really cool filter which is the noise reduction filter or noise suppression filter, shall I say. It should be applied after a compression filter for best results and it works in much the same way. Head over to the little cog icon or right click on the audio source if it is in fact a source. Select filters, add a new filter down here and use a noise suppression filter. Don't use a noise gate, use a noise suppression. That is super easy to use because it only has one parameter which is the suppression level. The default is minus 30 and I find that a little bit much. So you can't hear the results because I'm using a different filtering system in post-production here. It kind of depends on what your quieter parts are in the house or where, what level the noise has in your room. Mine works out to be about minus 50. That works well for me. If I make it any higher, then I sound very clipped and that doesn't sound very exciting. So make sure you don't sound like that. Minus 50 is good. You could, if you're quiet and no, don't speak into your microphone, have a look where this green bar ends up to be. And that's kind of a good indication to see where your noise level, your noise floor is. See, if I don't speak, mine is about minus 50, slightly below minus 45. So if I set my noise floor to be about here, that means anything below that will be cut off and will not be included in the mix. Very exciting stuff. 
One other audio filter that I'd like to share with you is something called sidechain ducking. And boy, is that exciting. It's especially good for gamers who have some kind of audio bubbling in the background at all times. And when they are quiet, they want to have that in full volume. But when they speak, they want to have that dimmed down a little bit. And it takes a little bit of experimentation, but OBS has this fantastic filter, which is included in the compressor filter. Let me show you where that is. I'll go back to my game here and I'm going to apply this filter on the desktop audio. So I've muted it down. This is the Subnautica music that we're hearing here. And if I go back to filters now, I'm going to have to apply another compressor filter on here. I'm going to call it maybe side chain compression. You can call it anything you like. And the thing with this compressor is now that we don't really want to compress the game audio at all. We just want to use the audio sidechain ducking feature, which is enabled when I add my microphone source at the bottom drop down here. So I want to do that. And this means that whenever a level is detected on this input source, this source will be dimmed down. Now the ratio I don't want to have affected at all, so I'm going to set that to as high as possible. That means there's really no ratio applied. The threshold is the level that needs to be detected from my microphone for this filter to kick in. I'm going to set that similar to my noise reduction filter, so about minus 40. Anything below that will be ignored, and that means anything below that will not kick off this filter. Anything above that will make this filter kick in. Attack and release is how quickly this filter is going to respond. So usually on a real compressor that compresses voice, we want that to be kind of set like this. It responds very fast and releases fairly fast. But when we talk about dimming the audio down, if I were to leave this like that, it would, be sound, it would sound very abrupt, the audio level change. So I'm going to go and change that to something along the lines of 250. And that's really personal preference. And the release, so the attack still happens fairly fast, but the release I'd like to happen a little bit slower. So when I stop talking, it'll just take about half a second for the audio to reach its level again. Audio output gain, I'm not gonna change. And that is really all you need to do in order to set up sidechain compression. Now, whenever we hear the lovely Subnautica music, I'm gonna be, the, the music is now gonna be in the background here, uh, but as soon as I stop talking, the audio is now going to increase as if by magic. How exciting is that? That's how you apply some basic audio filters to your scenes. In the next episode, we're going to have a look at how we can remote control OBS with the magic of the Elgato Stream Deck. And of course, we're going to have a look at how we can actually go and start our first stream. Join me for that. <laughs>